knowledge of how battle chips work, you're on the net, deleting viruses as you see fit. But you know, you don't always have to fight alone. Sometimes it's optimal to call on aid from others. Friends, allies, even enemies! In Mega Man Battle Network 2, there are 19 different characters you can call on to aid you in battle. Some are defensive, some are offensive, some are a mixture of both. It's time to look at the Net Navi battle chips. First up, we'll be looking at the Net Navi of Meilu Sakurai, Roll. While she may only be an NPC and you never actually fight her in battle, don't let her cute looks fool you. Her roll flash attack is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Roll will attack the nearest enemy doing 60 damage, and then she will heal you for half that damage, restoring 30 HP. Roll version 2 does 80 damage to the closest enemy, and restores 50 HP. And Roll version 3 does 100 damage to the closest enemy, healing 80 HP. An interesting thing to note about Navi Chips in this game is that, since damage is calculated as soon as the attack hits the enemy, that means damage can potentially stack with some Navi Chips. Also, Roll still phases through cubes. Well, she's a female protagonist, they always seem to be slightly magical, so I guess it makes sense. Next up is Gutsman, the Net Navi of Dexoyama. While he might not be the brightest Net Navi, he definitely has a lot going for him in the power department. And trust me, you do not want to be on the wrong end of his Mega Gut Stomp. When summoned, Gutsman pans the ground, breaking all panels in front of him, and sends three shockwaves forward, each doing 50 damage. For version 2, Gutsman's shockwaves do 70 damage. It should also be noted that Gutsman's shockwaves do not travel across holes. And with version 3, Gutsman's shockwaves do 90 damage. An official city net battle it needs a powerful navy. Enter Proto Man, the net navy of Eugene Chord. Armed with sword and shield, he'll cut anything down to size in the blink of an eye. Proto Man uses a wide sword attack on all enemies and does 100 damage. Proto Man version 2's wide sword does 160 damage. And Proto Man version 3's wide sword does 200 damage. Now let's take a look at the first of the Gospel Navis, Airman, operated by Ayashi Kazefuki. He blows away enemies with powerful gusts of wind, and as the internet meme says, no one can defeat Airman. Airman uses an attack that's similar to one used by his classic self. He sends a tornado spinning down each row. Each tornado does 40 damage. Airman version 2's tornadoes do 70 damage each. It should be noted that the tornadoes do damage both when they're created and when they're shot for. And Airman version 3's tornadoes do 100 damage each. Faster than a speeding bullet, it's the most infamous net navy of all, Quick Man, operated by Speedy Dave. 
And we all know why he's infamous. <coughs> Mega Man took a hump. Sorry, I had something in my throat then. Anyway, let's see this guy work his magic. Quick Man fires a boomerang down the road he's in. It does 50 damage both on the trip down and on the return trip. Quick Man version 2's Quick Boomerang does 70 damage. It should be noted the viruses in the back column are only hit by the boomerang once. And Quick Man version 3 does 100 damage. He may look small, adorable, and harmless, but make no mistake, Cutman is not one to be taken lightly. He is a fierce gospel navvy, but not even a net battler can operate. Using the scissors on his head, Cutman does massive damage to any enemies standing directly in front of him, 150 to be exact. Cutman version 2 scissor attack does 200 damage. And Cutman version 3 ramps the power up to a massive 300 damage. Interestingly, Cutman scissors count as a sword. They must be pretty sharp. Operated by the elusive Dark Miyabi is our next net navi, Shadow Man. Feel the power of the ninja. Yield to the power of the ninja. Be the ninja. Shadow Man splits into three and fires three shuriken that all do 60 damage. Shadow Man version 2 fires shuriken that do 70 damage each. And Shadow Man version 3 throws Shuriken the 280 damage. The loyal hulking guardian Nightman is the net navvy of Princess Pride. Armed with the Royal Wrecker on his arm, he crushes foes with his mighty strength. Nightman swings his Royal Wrecker around him in a circle doing 160 damage to any enemy standing around him. Nightman version 2 boosts the power of the Royal Wrecker to 210 damage. And Nightman version 3's Royal Wrecker does 260 damage. Fully charged and bipolar, the next nebula looking at is that, of course, Magnus, Magnet Man. Magnet Man executes a north-south tackle which does 130 electric damage to every enemy he touches. If there isn't enough room for his negative counterpart to generate, he simply executes the tackle on his own. Magnet Man version 2 gives the tackle a little bit more power, doing 140 elect damage. And with version 3, Magnet Man's north-south tackle does 150 elect damage. Operated by Sean Obihiru, we have 
Freeze Man, the last of the Gospel Navvies. With his ability to control sub-zero temperatures, he makes a formidable opponent. And in some ways, he functions quite similarly to one of the World 3 Navvies from the first game. Freeze Man randomly drops icicles on the enemy side of the field that do 50 aqua damage each. It's reminiscent of how Stone Man's battle chip works in the first game. Freeze Man version 2 drops icicles that do 60 aqua damage. And Freeze Man version 3 drops icicles that do 70 aqua damage. 